Hi, um, I'm Elizabeth DeRosa and I am from Singapore, but I am currently based here in Hong Kong. I am an artist scholar, a performance maker, a theater director and an actor training. So one of the reasons why I believe in theater and why I do theater is because I believe that working in theater, that theater itself is a very powerful tool. It's, it is a tool through which we can, it's a very strong communicative tool. It is a way where you can actually touch someone, not just cognitively, but emotionally as well as um, spiritually, I guess. Um, why I say that, because, you know, sometimes when you watch a piece of theatre, when you watch a piece of really good theatre, you know, you're, you are sitting at the edge of your seat and you are drawn in that and you watch it. You know, you're drawn into the story of the protagonist or whatever is happening and you feel moved. You know, so to me, theater, and, and you feel moved, you feel inspired and you want to do something about it. You know, you either want to do something to um, uh, affect change, you know, or maybe even you want to be a better storyteller because you understand the power of theater. I mean, effectively, as an artist, predominantly as a theater artist, we are storytellers. We tell stories of the souls, stories that need to be told, stories that of voices who are unheard. And to me, that's why I do theater, you know. I, I, I work in theater because it is important for me to tell these stories, stories that no one has heard, voices who have been repressed and voices that need to be heard. And so, you know, in, in a nutshell, to me, essentially that's why I got into theater. And that was also why I went into theater into actors training because the actors and me, we are the storytellers. So in order to be an effective storyteller, you need to have the skill, the craft. And so to me, it, you know, it kind of like all evolved into one. And I mean, you ask me, you know, what would I say to young people, you know, wanting to go into theater? You know, I would say that, you know, it is a lot of hard work. It is a lot of discipline. And to be honest, there will be sometimes a lot of disappointment. But the reward of it, or the returns of it, you know, is, you know, you can't count it. And, and, and that's one of the reasons why I am still doing theatre after more than 25 years of working in theatre professionally. So what is it important for me as a woman working in theatre is that I get to tell stories, you know, with, with a group of women. Because even though we live in the 21st century, there are still a lot of repression and women, when, when, when a group of women come, come together and there's a special connection um, and, and, and there's a special drive because we know that it is not just because of vanity that we are working together, but it's, we, we come with a strong desire, a strong need to tell a story. And that's you know, one of the strongest um, pool that I've had. Uh, predominantly, I think one of the experience of organizing the online Magdalena Festival, where a group of us got together, six women from different uh, countries. And we got together because we felt that it was important, more important at this time for us, for women to come together and to still create work, to tell our stories, because there are still many, many stories out there that need to be heard. And to me, that is why I feel that theater will always go on.
in whatever form it will be, theater will live on. So my last words is to say, keep on doing, just keep at it, keep at it. Thank you.